upcoming in just a few weeks is the first scheduled Republican yeah. primary debate. There's been a lot of speculation as to whether you're going to go or if you're going to do some kind of other event. You've talked about maybe doing something with Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Have you made your mind up? What's your plan on that front? So I haven't totally made a decision. I like the debates. I might be here because of the debates. I might have won against Hillary with the debates, and I might have gotten the nominations because of the debates. But when you're leading by 50 and 60 points against these people, and you have people at zero and one and two, and then they're going to be asking me hostile questions, uh, and they probably won't have much of an audience if I'm not in the debates, according to what I read. If I'm not in the debates, they're not going to have a very big audience. It seems almost like it would be foolish to do them. Uh, Reagan didn't do them. Other people didn't do them. Uh, and I don't know that I should be doing it, you know, to, to be up against a hostile network uh, with hostile people that are polling at zero. I mean, they don't have any votes. I mean, one of them had actually a zero with an arrow pointing left. I'm trying to figure out what that means. Probably means that they have too many votes and, you know, like the election. But, but they're at one, two, three, four, five, maybe. And I'm in the 60s. I see a poll the other day, 78. I'm at 78, and you have people at zero. And I feel it's sort of foolish to be doing it. I think it's uh, could be stupid. It could be a stupid thing to do. But I have not made up a decision. Uh, I don't mind doing them. I, I like to do them. I enjoy them, actually. And I think, it's, I think they're a good thing. But when you're leading somebody by 50 or 60 points, I think doing it might be foolish.